Everyone and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jin. Hello, Chelsea. Hello, and welcome back, everyone. And uh, we're happy you're here. And uh, and I can't believe it's another day. Uh, another day. Of That's no what happens when you swearing. Hit it. All right. I got a timer. It's okay. a sand timer. That's cute. Okay. All right. We got 10 minutes. Wonderful. Is that a 10-minute timer? Yeah. Wow. Crazy, huh? You think it really is? It doesn't look like that much sand to be 10 minutes. It doesn't, but I will tell you this. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with sand timers, and I wanted one so bad because I thought they were so cool. Okay, here, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Did you ever have an ant farm? Did I ever have a what? Ant farm. Ant farm? No. Wait, I don't think your mic's working, Brett. Whoa. Hello? Sorry, guys. Hey, it's honey, not working. dogs here. Hold on. Hold on. Brett's no, mic's no. not working. The dogs are fighting. Yes, cut my mic. It's starting out great. Wait, Brett. Hold on. Try, okay, try it now. Hello? Okay, there he's go. back. He's back. Sorry. Hello? Let the dogs out. You know, you know what? I normally would... Uh, part of me was like, oh, we should start over. And the part of me was like, he- heck no. I hate starting over, dude. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of start overs. Well, thank you for the sand timer. I appreciate that. I'm excited about that. And I got a little something for you. Okay. Um, it's not really from me. It's from uh, some rock truckers. Truckers um, who came to the oh, but Illinois show? No, maybe not. Oh, I can't remember what show they Bloomington. came. Bloomington. They came to the Bloomington Illinois show, and I'm just gonna ha- I'm just gonna give it to you. Okay. All right, for everyone listening and not watching, they gave us a. It's like a shoebox wrapped in wrapping paper with wieners all over it. And Whoa, that's the coolest wrapping paper I've ever seen. I know. Just a bunch of wieners, okay? And on the front of it, in gold, it says, J.D. Powerhouse presents <laughs> Podcast of the Year. Oh, my god! So look at this box. That is awesome. Okay. And do you want to open it? Or you want me to open it? Can you open it and present it? Sure will. Okay. We got ourselves <clears throat> a real life. JD Ooh, Power and Associate whoa. Award. Oh my gosh. <laughs> JD Power and Associate I Award. See that it's thing? legit. And they got it's heavy. Oh Wait, how did they get it? Gosh, did they is buy this it? Real? What the hell is going on in here? No, you can't you can't buy them. They have to be given. So it was it was probably I didn't ask her. It was probably given to like she she knew of one and, and took it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> So and she then, stole this? Well, she probably like, I don't know. Probably not. She probably took it from whatever. Who knows? You didn't ask questions? Uh-uh. This is so heavy. And they put um, little rhinestones on it, and it says, go ahead and read it off. It says, Distinguished Rock Truckers J.D. Power and Associates World Best Podcast presented to Chelsea Lynn and Paige Jen. 2021, 20, it says all the years and says the viral podcast, and it's a heavy mother sucker. Whoa. So we got, we finally got a JD Power and Associates Award for best podcast in the world. I can't <gasps> believe it. Outstanding customer service. Right. That's the best thing I've ever seen. And right. you know that that was sitting somewhere? For a minute, because uh, there's kind of scratches on it and stuff. Like, where'd she get that? I don't know. I didn't ask. From a company that paid for one. For, for a company that paid for one and didn't care if it was there or not. Do you think she bedazzled the pink? Yeah. She bedazzled it. And this thing probably oh weighs 20 pounds. I mean, this is heavy. Whoa. So we got ourselves a JD powerhouse and associates. I'm so happy. Thank you so yeah. much to yeah. whoever you are. We... Yeah, we appreciate we it. We needed... Whoa. Yeah. Now we don't have to go through all that trouble of getting mm-hmm. one. You oh, got one now. One. Oh, because we got one, brother. Yeah. Huh. We got us one right here. Right there. I, I guess, are there bigger ones than that? I think so. We could get a whole, uh, Is what's it called? A shrine or throne? Both. Every year you just get a new one. Every year. Yeah. Every year. Is it really called both? You could do a shrine or a th- whatever. A throne is something you set on. Oh. Just a shelf would work. <laughs> yeah, a shelf would work. Yeah. Yeah. 
So just wanted to give that to you guys. And um, Oh, I have something for you. Yeah, what is it? I still can't believe the JD Power and Associates Award, but we got one. When I licked your uh, bungholio, I yeah. told you it tasted like a party streamer. Okay, hold on. First and off, hold on. If you don't know what we're talking about, Paige licked my bunghole on slits only. And okay. I told you it tasted like a party streamer. You and did. You, and you've never tasted a party streamer. No. So I brought you one to taste <laughs> the brown pearl. Let me taste it. Okay, just like just put your tongue on it. So and you could pass it around, and everyone can so take a lick. okay. So w- Paige and I were filming a slits only, and we we were going to um, do Damn, trivial. We were going to do trivial the entire episode, but somehow one thing led to another, and I was licking her ass. She ace cheeks. She literally oh, licked. Oh, my, yeah, you didn't. Say, you you caught yourself. She literally. So that's that was on slits only. So um, and she said it tasted like a party streamer, and I was like, "How do you what?" She's like, "You've never licked one before." And I'm like, <laughs> "No." So here we are, ready? Just, yeah, do that and just put your tongue on it, your full tongue. <laughs> that's gross? salty and vinegary. <laughs> Why is that sour? Don't say that word. Um, that's sour. Why is a that's- party streamer sour? It's interesting, huh? That's what your whole tasted like. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, why is that sour? Is it an ingredient they have in there? Did you like lip smacker? <laughs> oh my, Maggie, try this. <laughs> Toss it. <laughs> it's so weird. Huh? That's gnarly. What is that? What chemical? It tastes like a salt and vinegar chip. It does. Like I'm licking a chip. And that's what my whole taste is like. Oh. Paige said. Get a lick, Brett. Go ahead, Brett. Get a lick. Oh. Wow. Now, was my whole stronger than that or less? Uh, I haven't tried it since, okay. like, hmm, I haven't tried it for a while. Let me see if they've tra- changed the chemical. But. Lick on that. Wow. I did Ugh. say your butthole has always tasted like salt and vinegar chips. You did. Yeah. You did. And I didn't even have a clean hole. You just did it raw. Yeah, We're, that's it. Wow. Wow, I Ooh. need a chaser. That's not good. Have you ever what? tasted a party streamer before anybody listening? Yeah. Have y'all ever licked a party streamer? <laughs> I think Paige might be the only person in the world that would see a party streamer and think to lick it. Things just in small towns happen like that. Yeah. You There's know, nothing else to do. <laughs> I was thinking the other day... I don't know who started this in our town, but we all just had a handshake, and everyone in the <laughs> town knew. Everyone in town mm-hmm. had a handshake. E- everyone knew the handshake. The whole yeah. So this is what you do: you clap hand or smack hands, and then you snap, and then you fist bump. And so everyone coming up to each other would go. Wow. Yeah. That's and who started that? Yeah, who was the guy that started that? Interesting. Okay, well, a <clears throat> um, couple things here. We said a couple episodes ago, we were talking about song lyrics and stuff, and I said that I, because I'm a big song, like, lyrics are the number one to me in, in music, and Paige is the opposite. She doesn't, like, listen to the lyrics, understand them, get it, whatever. And so I said, well, then you would love, I'm going to read some Kurt Cobain lyrics for you. Kurt Cobain, Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Cobain. And I want you to just, he was known for his lyrics that didn't make sense. And he was asked in interviews all the time, like, what does this mean? What does this mean? And he would literally be like, I don't know, whatever you want it to mean. So I'm going to read some Kurt Cobain lyrics and you try to tell me what you think it means. Are you ready? Here we go. Help me trust your mighty wisdom. Yes, I eat cow. I'm not proud. Show me how you question questions. Lead the way to my temptation. Take my hand and give it cleaning. As I eat cow, I'm not proud. Easy in an easy chair. (laughs) The hell? That is from Mr. Mustache on their first album. Help me eat this mighty cow or something like that. It, maybe he's saying, just 
bear with him as he goes through really hard parts to he's got to go through and eat some things he doesn't want to be eaten but just bear with him and meet him there at the end with his clean hands and no more cow on his hands and okay that's pretty good good job all right you ready for the next one (laughs) You ready for the next one? Yeah. Here we go. When I was an alien, cultures weren't uh, opinions. Gotta find a way. Find a way when I'm there. Gotta find a way. A better way. Better way. Never met a wise man. If so, it's a woman. That is from uh, Territorial Pissings. Territorial Pissings is just saying pretty much... Anything goes, you know? Any, Anything goes. That's what I got from that one. Okay. And and he just... Uh, he really wants to end racism. I, I, I got that from that. Absolutely. Okay, good job. All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. <clears throat> All of a sudden, my water broke. I love you for what I am not. I do not want what I have got. A blanket acneed with cigarette burns. Second rate, third degree burns. What is it what I need? What is wrong with me? Lots of pain. <laughs> lots and lots of pain and wetness. Uh, maybe just you can't really predict when a water breaks. So uh, he's just saying that things you can't predict things. Okay. Just go with it. Go with the fl- go with the water flow. Go with the placenta okay and that song is radio friendly unit shifter okay how the hell what were they thinking this you ready for the next one she eyes me like a pisces when i'm weak i've been locked inside your heart-shaped box for weeks i've been drawn into your magnet tar pit trap i wish i could eat your cancer when you turn black oh she is more leaky (laughs) (laughs) She might, have, have, she might have a little malt leaky. She has a little bit malt leaky and cancer. Okay, so I think he feels like he's locked inside her heart. He can't get out. He's in it like, I can't get out. Okay. And she's got the key, but it's stuck in the malt leaky. <laughs> so she's trying to get it, but can't unlock it and all that. Okay. Who's knocking anyway? Yeah, we heard someone knocking on the door. All right. Mm. Is somebody knocking? Okay, we got that was from Heart Shaped Box. Okay, we have one more. You ready? Heart Shaped Box was the name of the song. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. cute. And then, um, um, uh, what's her name? What's his wife? What was his wife? Courtney, Courtney Love. Love. Courtney Love. Ooh. Courtney Love came out later after and said like, "Oh, Heart Shaped Box was about my vagina." Oh, <gasps> okay. <laughs> so we know that one. But who knows? Who knows? You know, she probably made that up. Yeah, Malt Leaky. Okay, the last one. <clears throat> because isn't she, uh, okay, never mind. Okay. Kill a million, heal a million. Kill a million. In my eyes, I'm not lazy. In my face, it's not over. In your room, I'm not older. In your eyes, I'm not worth it. Give me back my alcohol. He's, uh. That's from Scoff. He's donating millions. He's helping, and then he's. Then once he gives it all away, he's going back, making more, healing more. And this then, was his first album, so they that was before they got famous. So. Don't know where the millions coming. Okay. Uh, shit. No, that was an early one. How how did it end? Give give me back my alcohol. <laughs> he drunk as <laughs> he drunk yeah. drunk. Yeah, I think he was drunk when he wrote that. Okay, cool. Those are interesting. <clears throat> He lyrics. was a very interesting lyricist. Very interesting. So they mean absolutely nothing for real? Well, you know, who knows? Something to him. He never explained anything, really. I kind of get that, though, because that's how I feel music, I feel, you know? Oh, I just oh, oh, this didn't go off. The sander didn't go off, so we can say, we can do it. Y'all ready? Fuck you! Fuck you for writing those lyrics that don't mean anything. Fuck, Fuck you. you. See, we need a little buzzer. Or we need to watch it next time. Yeah, we just need to not do we, our we, segment yeah, during our swearing. We need to watch it. We need to watch it. Hey, you know what? I gave it to you. I know, but I got lost in the lyrics. You're the Sandman. Yeah. 
Hey, Brett hasn't said one word this podcast. That is freaking strange, ain't it? Yeah. Brett? Yeah. Get your dad. Hey. <clears throat> Just want to say if I was Mormon, I would be having sex with butt cheeks all the time. Um, dry humping, right? So what you do is you uh, get on top, start massaging, okay? You got to be naked. And then you kind of just flap the wiener in the butt cheeks. And, like, if you put a pillow under their hips, it kind of props it up a little bit. So you can, like, really get it. I mean, I grew up with Mormons, and, you know, the dry humping's a big thing. But they never mentioned the uh, ass cheeks. Like, took me forty-four years to figure that out. Um, yeah. Um. Time's up. Lean back. Ooh. Jeffrey Dahmer vibes. <laughs> yeah, yes. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Uh, oh man. So what if you're a Mormon and you're and you're going between the ass cheeks trying to get a nut and you slip in you know, you slip in a hole. You're not gonna I don't think it's that easy. Well, if you, if if it's got you got some friction and it's all moist down there, if you're if you're yeah. pumping ass cheeks going down down it, you're gonna slip in. No. If there's oil on it, why, oil. Brett? Why the oil. angles? The angle, like you're kind of having sex with the butthole, like the like you're rubbing the middle of your penis, you know, on the hole. Yeah, you're okay. kind of like going like this, and then you're folding the. It's kind of like a little canoe going down a river. Brett, you said that you grew up with Mormons. Did y'all talk about this a lot? Oh, yeah. They yeah. always, they jerk off yeah. and stuff. So y'all talked they, about that? Yeah. Shoot your wad. That was a big thing. <laughs> What's that? Shoot your wad. Your load? That was like a thing. Everybody say, like, I shot my wad. Ooh. Ooh, I just think of a spit wad. Yeah. Ooh, I shot my wad. Oh, don't ever say <laughs> don't that. Don't ever say that wad. on this podcast again. Yeah, you have some wad on your face. Ooh, let me put my wad in you. <laughs> Ooh. Wad? <laughs> so, Brett, you wad. were saying, so were you like, oh, man, that sucks for y'all because I'm out here actually putting it in holes. Yeah, actually, I was the only one, like, boning okay. in how high would, school. How would you even go about that? Like, hey, what are you doing later? <laughs> well, I will. <laughs> You know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm doing. What? Yeah. You should already know what I'm doing tonight. Well, so was everybody jealous of you for boning? Y'all talked about that a lot? No, they, uh, well, so my senior year, yeah. I actually transferred. Okay. To what? And From my wadding to sex? My, my girlfriend was at another school. Okay. So I couldn't really share with them at the time. Okay. But... Dry humping was huge, and I, I don't think they knew about the, the ass. The ass wasn't that big, you know, growing up. Can I just say I love dry humping? <clears throat> Good, because I told my brother-in-law, well, they didn't want to come to Nashville because mm -hmm. I don't know why, but they're, I said, okay, well, I'll let you titty fuck Chelsea. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> and he would. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, yeah. so they didn't want to come visit, and so you said, well, I'll let you titty fuck Chelsea, and they're coming now? Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't know nothing about it. <laughs> I was going to text you, and I said, let me text Chelsea, and uh, yeah, because just it makes his mood happier. Oh, Even yeah. if it doesn't happen, he, it just still. Yeah, just the idea. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see him. So now they're coming here, but just a heads up. Okay, <laughs> that he may ask about that. Would you let him? No. Oh, because I was thinking, I wonder if he actually could come because your tits are like solid butt cheeks almost. Oh, he could take the titties and wrap it around yeah. and it would feel like a hole. A little dick burrito. Yeah. But I cannot imagine looking down and seeing Brady with the heart on fucking my tits. <laughs> yeah. I would fucking puke. With thought, his wad coming. That's yeah. why you flip over. <laughs> Just do the ass. <laughs> And he's like, I'm about to wad it all over you. <laughs> Gonna give you the waddle. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, That's wild. 
So, Brett, were you boning, like, a bunch of chicks in high school, or was it just one chick? Just one. Okay. What's she doing now? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Do you think she listens to the podcast? No. <laughs> okay. You Nobody should. does. Okay. <laughs> All right. You okay? Hey, Puffy. Hey, Puff, Puffer, Puffer hey, Fish. He said nobody <laughs> listens to the pod. Okay, we got a few people that listen, Brett. Yeah, Brett. Well, how come when you guys say it, it's fine, but I do, it's like... What are you talking you know, about? You guys say always say nobody's listening. Yeah. I just said it and you got mad. Hey, Brett. Nobody's I, mad. No, nobody's no. mad. Hey, Brett. It's oh, you guys aren't mad? Hey, Brett. Hey, Brett. Hey, Brett. Lean back. Negative mad, man. <laughs> nobody got mad. Nobody got mad. You're making up things in your head. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I apologize. Yeah. It's okay, Brett. Yeah, it's all right, Brett. Okay, bro. Do you have um? You want to do a was the DM or not? I would love to do a DM. Oh hey, oh sorry. Oh, yeah, Brett, what's up? What's up? Well, like you got pearl necklaces, right? What's the ass thing called? Do you think? What are you talking like about? Like a pearl belt when you shoot your wad oh, on the lower back. It's called a full throttle waddle. Yeah, full throttle waddle. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I have a DM of the day, and listen to me. <laughs> Listen, dude. Oh <laughs> what? my gosh. What? Just the fact that people are listening. I know. I know. Love you guys. Yeah, we appreciate you listening. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. Um, What's the damn for the day? So, this is on Facebook. And at first, I thought the guy was messing with me to, to, be a DM of the day because mm-hmm. I can sense when people do that oh, yeah. and I can sense when it's real. So, at first, I thought he was fucking with me. Mm-hmm. And then I realized, whoa. This guy's dead serious. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, so just I'm nervous. Ba- bear with me. Okay. This guy named Matthew <clears throat> messaged me on Facebook and he said, <clears throat> If I lick your asshole, will you buy me some new teeth? And, <laughs> and I replied, Nah, but can you just eat my ass out of the kindness of your heart? And he said, Definitely on the table. Message me if you're ever near Dallas. And then he said, that is, if you don't mind a guy with a little bit of muscle that's missing a few teeth. And I was like, is this guy serious? And then the next day proceeds to send me a video of himself. Stop. <sighs> Doing what? I Just, just, <clears throat> hey, baby. <clears throat> He's kind of older. Hey, baby, I... Yeah, I want to eat your all this stuff, like going nuts. And I literally start laughing. I go, he's being dead serious. And then I asked him if I could play this. I go, can I please play this video on our podcast? And he goes, no, please don't do that. Oh. He wouldn't let me. Damn, I was going to say play the He's video. probably married. And that, that to me, that's like this motherfucker was serious. Mm-hmm. So he or said, married, yeah. yeah. He said, please, if I, if I lick your asshole, will you buy me new teeth? Just Bless him. Yeah, he's no. out there just trying to, trying to get some new teeth. You can't blame him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're like, so. I have people out there doing it for free. Right. That are in the same room as me. Right. And he's going to have to look at more than once for some new teeth. Yeah. Them fuckers are expensive. Yeah. Maggie knows. Mm-hmm. Maggie, it, yeah. And it's like, ears. you don't need <clears throat> the teeth to eat your ass. Right. You just need a tongue. Yeah. Tongue. I got my ass eaten last night. You did? Mm-hmm. Last night? Was yeah. it good? It was good. Good leaky? <clears throat> good malt leaky. Does it ever get eaten? Um, he licked it once, but he full blown ate it last night. He grabbed Fork, my ass knife. cheeks Whoa. and pushed my butt up and just went to town. Were I doing doggy and then he did it or what? No, I was just laying. I was starfishing at the time. Did you do any? No, but I could tell he wanted to. Ooh, he was trying to prep it. Yeah, he's trying he to. He was get- trying to prep it and I was like, man, yeah, I can't. Um, was it oral for an hour? Mm-hmm. Oral for an hour. <laughs> Well, great Mr. Guy. Oral. He gets after it. He went to Oral Roberts. Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. That's where he taught how to mm-hmm. do this for an hour. What a cool guy. Yeah. Are you getting off the whole hour? Uh, Not straight. What do you mean, for a whole hour? I feel like if somebody was eating me out for an hour, I'd be numb. No. <laughs> nah. It, Towards uh, the end, I'm done. I'm like, okay, I've had enough. But do you... Um, you just come multiple times? No, just once. Sometimes two times. Oral for an hour. Dang, mm-hmm. it takes him almost an hour to get you? Oh, I can't. It takes me. It takes me a while. Whoa. If I'm going to nut during sex, it takes me hours. But then he'll keep going, and I'm like, stop, and he won't. <laughs> then, he, then he's got to learn the viral spiral. Oh, last night after I got off, he was like, thank you. That was amazing. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> Why are you thinking me? Damn. And you just laid there and yeah. got your ass ate? Mm-hmm. Damn. Dang, you might have to <laughs> ring it. Ring oral it up. for an hour, baby. Mm-hmm. Mr. Oral. Oral. M- Mr. Oral. I love that his name is Oral for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> if he knew I know He would die Oh like, bless his heart He doesn't know nothing How does he not know Like that's so trippy Well he's older And he I don't think he has like Social media Yeah But he's never asked you What you do Like that's a trip Nah Not really That's wild nah. He y'all just gnaws Y'all been boning for like a year A year and a half A year and a half He's the only one I've been with For a year and a half Wow Isn't that crazy Yeah yeah. Do you guys have like an agreement? You won't bone other people at all? No, I don't know if he does or not. I've never asked him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, I have a DM. Okay. Let's hit it. Uh, This guy said, Paige, do you think you could ever date a guy with a fart fetish? <laughs> you probably could. You You would be great at that. Yeah. But how... Um, He would want you to, like, fart in his mouth and stuff. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Don't let spring cleaning fool you. There's always space to add a little extra something in the bedroom. It's no secret that consuming a little THC can help set the mood. However, getting that right strain and dosage can be difficult. That's why we are thankful for today's sponsor, Vea. Vea has developed a unique blend of pleasure-enhancing cannabinoids, libido-strengthening herbs, and a low dose of THC, all in one mind-blowing gummy called High Love. We are talking about pairing aphrodisiac herbs with a mild amount of THC. Their best-selling High Love Gummy will awaken your senses, increase your blood flow, and intensify any sexual experience. Vea also offers a wide, wide, wide array of other gummies with and without THC, each with their own unique strengths and effects catered for your routines. And the best part, Vea legally ships in all 50 states with discreet packaging directly to your doorstep, no medical card required. So if you are 21 plus, check out the link to Vea in our description and use code VIRAL to get 15% off. I take these gummies every day. I love the dream gummies. I sleep like a baby with them because I am a light, light sleeper. But these things will knock me out. Their products have great flavor and are made with vegan and organic ingredients. Their products can range from 2 milligrams to 50 milligrams of THC, so these guys have you covered whether you are looking for microdosing or just to enjoy the potent effects. Whether you want better sleep to ease your anxiety, enhance your mood, or just get high, uh, then you might want to go to the... uh, Let the gummies work their magic. If you are 21+, plus. Check out the link to Vea in our description and use the code VIRAL to receive 15% off a free sample. Take your passion and pleasure to a whole new level with high love from Vea Hemp. Oh, yeah. Can I say something? If I didn't have to move, if he just ran up and caught him, then yeah. But if I have to, like alter my life so much for no it. <laughs> no i think it's just <clears throat> the benefit of you farting and him liking it oh yeah mm-hmm. for sure my show at zany's someone in the meet and greet came up swear to god and uh husband and wife and and i met him we took pictures and everything and before they left she goes he has something he wants to ask you and he was like no 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 stop oh, and i go i go just ask me and he goes no no and she goes he wants to know if he can lick your toe and I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and I go, she goes, he has a foot fetish. And I go, really? She goes, and a fart fetish and a shit fetish. Dang, I missed Damn, that Damn, he's all show. wrapped in. And I said, what? And she goes, Chelsea, I will be cooking dinner. And if I fart, he will come from another room Whoa. and come up and sniff my asshole. He can sense it? Sniff her asshole. And I go, wait. I go, so... 
in a sexual way? So you like get hard and get turned on? He said yes. Okay. Does, I'd be scared uh, to fart. No, you why? You'd be even more because pro- he'd be wanting to fuck all the time because I fart all the time. Yeah, yeah he would just <laughs> have to be like jacking off. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I wouldn't be able to keep him off me as much as I fart. Yeah. Well, I told her. I said, I, I told know. the lady. I said, you got it made because it, dude. If I fart, Greg's like, what the fuck? You're fucking nasty. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. she's farting and he's like getting hard, loving it, right, sipping it through the air. Yeah. So anyway, I said, you want to lick my toe? And he was like, yeah. And I said, well, okay. I said, but listen, brother. I said, these shoes are nasty. My feet are nasty. Oh, they're, he don't care. They're not clean. He, he goes, likes stinky feet? Yeah, he goes, I don't care. And I go, okay, let's do it. So I sat in a chair. I posted it to my Instagram story. I uh, sat in a chair and I go, are you just going to lick it, right? And he goes, yeah. I thought he was going to do like a, a little like lick. Motherfucker. Start sucking. Start sucking on my toe. Dang. And my toes were nasty. By Did the you lock the it? Thing no. Her, I've had my toes and, suck before. And your toes get toe up. My toes get toe up. With From that the, skin? And the APLs. Those, a, those APL slides. They're dude, nasty. They're they stink. They're fucking smart, smart, smelly. That's why you got to buy, buy the black yeah. color. Because. Yep. Oh, I told him. I go, they're nasty. Motherfucker were you wears. wearing those? Yeah. He started sucking on them, and I was like, oh, I screamed. It was, I've had my toes sucked. I don't care for it. But it, he threw me off because I thought he was going to lick it, and then he sucks it. And he wasn't just, I mean, he was like, just. I wish he would have farted on him. Yeah. I told him, I go, I wish I could fart right now. And had him, like, Damn. sniff your ass. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would have. One time a follower came and put a ring on my finger, this guy. I think I've said this before in here, and he freaking, after he put it on, grabs my finger and just starts sucking on it. I was, and this was just out in public. I'm like, all right, okay, yeah. That's that was a that was a weird one for me. <laughs> like the first like kind of weird encounter where I'm like, okay, anything could happen. Quick. Here's the thing with dating a fart fetish guy. I wouldn't mind, but I personally would not want to incorporate farts into my pleasure. Right. Like set it in the bedroom. Yeah. Like if we're fucking and I'm, you know, and he's like fart for me, I'd be like, bro, let's just keep that to where you <laughs> sniff whenever I fart <laughs> in the living room. That's just extracurricular. Yeah. For you. I couldn't incorporate that to my pleasure. Okay. Brett, can I tell him? Just tell us. You got <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. You no got it. What you going to say. So. Wait, what? Wait, Brett, did you fart? What? I don't know. I, I have to fart right now, I think. T- don't do it, Brett. Tell us. What? Um. So I just haven't really been fucking him too often uh-huh. here lately. So he's just been kind of jacking off and doing whatever he can. Having to- sex with ass cheeks. Okay. She's a complainer. Okay. Let her talk, Brett. Okay. <laughs> I got to hear. Um. So I'll just be laying there in bed and, oh, gosh, it was so weird. He was jacking it, and for some reason, just starts smelling my asshole. And I, <laughs> Mr. Sniffles, and I already yeah. took the smelliest shit earlier that day. And he walked in the bathroom and already almost passed over, just smelling the shit earlier, and decides that it's a good idea to just be down there going like this <laughs> oh, in my so ass bad. cheeks. And then he says. Oh, for some reason, every time I smell your asshole, it makes me want to come. And so he just yeah. proceeded to, like, every time he wanted to bust, just he would go into my asshole and sniff really hard. And I was just laying there like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm disgusted <laughs> right now because, Brett, you did tell us when we were in the Bahamas that you love to sniff asshole. He did? did? You did. It's in my vlog. Whoa. Of him, huh. there's like a five minute segment of him talking about loving to sniff asshole. You got drunk. That makes oh sense. my! Then yeah. he got drunk and the he truth drunk. came out. Yep. Brett, so why do you do that? I think I like the taint area. Taint really, because when I'm doing the, uh, you know, the wad belt, whatever, um, it's on the taint and the asshole, you know. So. Huh? <laughs> the perineum. If I was laying in bed and Brett was jacking off beside me, I would fucking Sniffing be so... Sniffing your ass. I'd be yeah. so fucking mad. So she was laying on her stomach and I was banging the, the clit, right? And then I had my thumb on the booty hole. And so I was kind of plugging that. And then I'd take a big sniff. It's like he was taking a line of shit particles off my butthole. Stop! Yeah. Oh, my God. I've never seen somebody sniff so hard. <laughs> 
And I didn't know it I was got me that thinking, hard. dang, all along he's had a yeah a smell fetish. Brett, you have a little you have a little poop. Did it stink? No, it smelled great. What did it smell like? Like honey nut Cheerios, maybe. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Isn't that just weird what can get you off? Yeah. Like, some guys like to freaking, like, just, it's crazy how our brains work, yeah. honestly. Yes. Well, it was like, Little uh, things can just uh, do it. A sniff, what, Brett? We were trying to, you know, come at the same time. And so if I'm kind of going to lose it a sec, I just sniff the butthole and then back. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Beth, Beth in I'm the back, back said, what the fuck? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, listen, we don't shame around here, but, but that's, <laughs> that's, uh, in the heat, you know, what? In when you're the, in the moment. Oh, in the, okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything kind of goes in the yeah. moment, huh? Wow. Well, whatever gets you that nut, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. we're all about that nut. Yeah. Edge shave gel. What? What? Shave? Edge. I was edging, you know. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought you were got off to edge shave gel. That's what I thought yeah. too. Sorry. Okay. Well, interesting. Gosh, um, that stuff's so unhealthy for you, huh? Shave gel? Yeah. Uh, everything is. Yeah. Everything is. And then you what? Open up your are you opening up your skin when you like shave it? Or what's going on? Your pores. Yeah. Tearing it mm -hmm. up. Yeah. yeah. Brett, are you mad at me? <laughs> no. <laughs> No. He seems on edge today. Yeah, and people have smoked. been asking. People have been saying, hey, will you ask <clears throat> Brett if he's mad at us? So we just want to ask, are you? Are you? We just want to clear it. You're not? Clear mm -mm. the air. You haven't smoked today? Should I put on my uh, I'm not mad at you shirt? Brett, why Ooh. haven't you smoked today? That's not like you. Because uh, the weed police. Okay, here's the thing. I have a <laughs> Stop. I have a pen, and he comes over here and goes... Can I have the pen? And I'm like, you can have a puff, puff daddy, and then you can go sit down. Yeah, and yeah. he and then he get all he's like, I don't even want it anymore. He just won't take a puff because he wants my pen in his hands at all times. Right, you gotta get your own pen, brother. Get your own. Okay. Like you can take hits off of it, but why does he you need it? And then if I won't let him sit with it, he just how old <laughs> how old are you? Yeah, Brett, you, if you wanna sit with your pen, you gotta get your own, brother. If you want to set with <laughs> your pen, get your right. own. <laughs> get your own pen. All right. Hey, I think we should. Uh, oh, we call each other Penelope. Why? Yeah. What's that? The pen. <laughs> Those are some new oh, names. Oh, hey, Penny. Yeah, Penny, Penny Penelope. Penny. What are some other ones we say? Penny's funny. Man, I can't even think of all of them. If we think, we'll say them, but go on. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo Commercials. Nothing gives me naked confidence like a warm, bubbly bubble bath. A very close second would be Lumi Whole Body Deodorant. Unlike certain other deodorants, Lumi is powered by mandelic acid to deliver outrageous 72-hour odor control everywhere. And I mean everywhere, from your pits to your feet. And yes, even your privates. In fact, it was a concern for patients about private part odor that originally inspired the OBGYN who invented Lumi. Flash forward six years and her game-changing whole body deodorant has now earned over 300,000 five-star reviews from people like me who love feeling confident from head to toe. And guess what, guys? New customers get $5 off Lumi's starter pack with code VIRALPOD at LumiDeodorant.com. I like Lumi because it feels good and it smells good and the smell is not overpowering. Sometimes I'll wear deodorant and it's just, it's too much. This is just enough. Hey, I put it between my vag cracks. Ooh, I'm fresh all day, baby. Malt freshy, baby. That's right. I said cracks. You guys, Lumi is seriously safe to use anywhere on your body. Anywhere. Pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, vulvas, and feet. That's right. I said vulvas. And guess what? It's baking soda free and paraben free. And pH balanced for safe use below the belt. 
Lumi Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like a mini body wash or deodorant wipes, and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi Starter Pack with code VIRALPOD at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code VIRALPOD. Yeah, that's funny. No, I think we should start. I think we should get into the calls. Let's let's answer a call. I think, Maggie, you should... uh, Do you smell that? Brett, give us a good... Brett, you smell sniff. that? You're a good sniff. sniffer. She was calling me Mr. Sniffles. Yeah. <laughs> I smell that. Okay, Brett, that's enough. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, hold on. That's all right. You know, not your Bluetooth's connected. not connected. Oh. I don't know. Hold on. We're, hold on. We're not connected. It is plugged in. Hold on. We'll figure it out. Come Got on, Brett. It. Beth, can you come help me for a minute? Hey, honeys. Sorry. Technical Boy, difficulties man. here. We haven't had to call ITT Tech in a minute. <laughs> ITT Tech. Well, here comes ITT Tech. Down. What am I doing wrong? Cue the Beth Maybe music. Damn hold on. Hold Black on. Okay, okay, we're going to restart we're it. Let me restart okay. it. Okay. All right. Good job, everybody. Great team meeting. Yes, great. Here, hit it. Shit. Hold on, y'all. Ready, go. Hit it. Long, long, long. Hey, honeys. This is... Timothy the Tallywhacker from Texas. I had a question for you gals. The other night I was pile driving my girl. And all of a sudden, I felt an IUD string go straight through my urethra. And it felt like a son of a bitch. Anyway, I was just curious as to whether or not y'all had uh, ever experienced anything like that or received any compliments, complaints from gentlemen. Regardless of the fact, I kept going, and uh, I just kind of turned a little bit to the side and started hitting that sidewall over there. And before you knew it, she was going, oh, yeah, yeah, which in turn made me go, oh, yeah. That's it. All right. What a cool guy, first off. Hitting them sidewalls. Yeah, When and thank you for calling in. And here's the deal. If something's not working out, in any way, you regroup and you pivot. And that's exactly what he did. He started hitting those sidewalls. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you have to take the side roads, the toll roads, mm-hmm. the, the ways you don't want to take. Because mm-hmm. getting poked in your penis hole with yeah. the IUD. I have heard this. Whoa. I feel like it's quite common. It's happened to me. Really? What? So How after hard I had, are they, though? After I had Lola, I got the Mirena yeah. put in up there. And it was like a little T mm-hmm. with a string. It's like a metal string thing. And every single time he'd be like, oh, it hurts. I can feel something stabbing me. Yeah. So the metal was yeah. stabbing him? Yeah. In the dick. What? Yeah. I've, and I have have heard this. I had to go get it taken out. Yeah. Dang. I guess it's only two inches in there, it says. It's Yeah, it's not far. <sighs> nah. That's, I'm not trying to get that. I don't think the girl feels it. Do you feel it? What's that? Oh, oh my God. God. Maggie Sorry. always has a lot. This is dude. one unhinged episode, dude. This is. I'm sorry. We haven't had an unhinged episode like this in a while. No, after watching, I've been obsessed with Kill Tony lately. Yeah. And after watching that, it, they have noises going off every <laughs> second and like playing. They have a full cool. band. So it's like. Yeah. So, you know, cool. it kind of. We actually don't even have enough noises. Yeah, we could do more. Wish I could queef right now for you. Ooh. That That'd be cool. I wish, dude. Yeah. We need to do another queefing <sighs> vlog, by the way, that we did. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, but can you feel it as a girl? I felt it sometimes. Okay. But. Just felt like pressure maybe or it, something? It felt like, like a stab in pain. Oh, like, so it would poke no. to your other pussy wall. Like during sex. No. You felt it just in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, I would hate that, dude. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, some IUDs work so well for people, and sometimes they don't. I I've, had, ne- I've never had one. I had it for about a year, mm-hmm. had it taken out, and then there was live. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I guess they work, yeah. but they also poke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I have heard that. Could mm-hmm. you imagine just sticking your dick in something and it gets a freaking sliver yeah hey but what a cool dude you know you make it work hitting those sidewalls 
Good job, dude. Proud of you. And thank you for calling in. Thank you. And thank you for switching it up for your wife. It was Malt Switchy. Malt Switchy. And, and we love everyone that calls in, especially dudes. Thank y'all for listening to the pod. Love you so Love much. you. Hey, honeys. Would y'all rather hear? Would you rather have ghosts in your house? Or roaches in your house. Let me know. Oh yeah. Go. Would we rather have ghosts or roaches? You've had both. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. one would you rather live with? So yeah. <laughs> I'd rather live. I'd rather live with a ghost. And I feel like a ghost is even easier to get rid of. I feel like now if the ghost was demonic, I don't play that shit. Because that can make noise. All the cupboards could be slamming. Uh, I don't play that shit. I could not live with, you know, s- stuff like that. Now, if it was just a regular ghost and a regular haunting, ghost over roaches any day. I can't deal with roaches. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I remember one time, I was probably six or seven years old. We were living in Kingston, Oklahoma. And um, we used to reuse straws, like if we got straws from Sonic oh. or whatever. And mom would rinse them and just put them back in <clears throat> and one time I got some water got a straw out put the straw in <sighs> sucked up the water and a, a oh, dead fuck. dead roach just right just fuck. Ah! <laughs> fuck. Whoa. just hit the back of your throat a dead roach <laughs> and Dang. straws are free that's how bad we had roaches <clears throat> but and why I, not just have new straws just didn't. here's the thing every house we've ever lived in until we're an, a, adults was infested with roaches. No, infested. Absolutely. Were you traumatized to use a straw without the paper? I, I still think about it all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. Now, I, I have reusable straw straws. Yeah. I have glass ones and those pl- whatever. And <clears throat> I don't have roaches, but I still, like, think about it when I pick it up. When I was a kid, every straw, I had to blow through it before I put it in. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, I would too. Do you uh, check in every straw now? Or I don't no? now just because I know I don't have roaches, but I, I still think about it all the time. I don't check. Yeah. but um, I saw a friend <clears> bite <throat> into a strawberry one time, and she like when she pulled it away from her mouth, half of a worm, like she just bit through a worm. Oh. And now like... Now it makes me never want to bite into strawberries. Like it makes me want to cut them every time. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I've so seen it's weird. Like little things can make you change mm-hmm. your ways. Yeah. Oh, I remember being a kid and like just having roaches crawl on me while I slept. And you did you just get used to it? The no tickles. No, you don't ever get used to that shit. Oh, too mm-hmm. bad they weren't heavier. It they could just me. kind of massage you. <sighs> it pissed me off. I'd get so mad. I'm like, I'm I'm never having fucking roaches when I grow up. You should have asked for a tarp tent <laughs> to sleep with for Christmas. Damn. Like over you, you know, a net. For real? Some sort of bug net? <laughs> yeah, bug net. Like in the jungle. Dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I've been there, done that. I will take a ghost. Chelsea, they were that bad? They were crawling on you in your sleep? Oh, Paige, they yeah. were crawling up the walls, on the ceiling. <laughs> And would in you the guys cabinets. kill them or what? At my grandma's house, it was bad. There were some houses, like when we lived with our parents, that wasn't as bad, but we always had roaches. But her house was very bad. We had roaches. Like the roach policy. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. They yeah. were. And it, it was so normal. Oh, yeah. Like she didn't think it was a problem. Well, Did she you always, guys? She always had like roach traps out, but it didn't do any good. They were, it was their house. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> they ran that place. We were living with them. Yeah. <laughs> that was their house. Um, yeah. What, you never had roaches? We well, have maybe some in our like, garage right now. Maybe like now just now not it, like. They're smart. Not an infestation. If I see one, I'm like, oh, dang, yeah. like this needs killed yeah. or gone right away. I'm not, I've never got used to them. Oh, if I saw one in my house right now, I mm-hmm. would die. I would call the roach man. Oh, I would lose my absolute shit. So should I be calling a roach man? If no, it's in my it, gar- one was in my garage. I've never seen roaches I think in it's your a house. Scout. <clears throat> yeah. I, and it's like cold, so it's like, you know, they're, they're trying, trying to, to Yeah, I wouldn't no. You keep a very clean house. I wouldn't worry about it. I heard that roaches can live through anything. Like, didn't they live through the what did they say? The big- Well, they're underground, so they could survive a cataclysm. Wow. But then isn't it, I think in the Asian culture, it's bad to kill them. Really? It's super bad luck. 
I didn't know that. What for? I don't know. My dad used to just be like, don't kill it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Because I always wanted to There's to two different them. kinds of roaches, though. There's a, a big there, water roach. Yep. There's multiple kinds, but we had the, yes, Maggie. Yeah. There's, Maybe it's crickets, I'm thinking, not uh, roaches. Yeah, I've always heard that. Don't kill a cricket. But some people don't kill anything, you know? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it trips me out if there's a spider on a wall and people are just boxing it to go take it outside. That's a different type yeah. of human. Depends what kind of spider it is for me. I don't see anything here about yeah. not killing roaches in the in the Asian culture. But I'm not digging deep. That's just nothing popped up. But that's wild. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Maybe it's crickets. Can't remember. I'd pick a ghost, baby. Maybe you're thinking like Buddhists, like a religion, because they don't kill. Ghost, 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 all day. I'm picking ghost. I ghost. Don't, I don't want the crawls. Mm -mm. Ghost. What are y'all doing? Ghost. 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 Yeah. Ghost. Yeah. I'm still tripping, dude. That those things were just crawling on you. Mm -hmm. That was a nor normal. I, just, I think it's that's... trippy how they'll see me and then they'll hide behind the car tire. I'm like, whoa, this one has got a brain. <laughs> oh, they're smart. They're smart <laughs> for real, <It'll> hide. bro. <laughs> Cockroaches are smart. Yes. <clears throat> yes. And how... they don't like sunlight. And they are survivalist. How can you tell Long that time. they're smart? They just it's based on that. They run and hide. They're gonna <laughs> yeah. do everything they can to survive. They're not. Yeah. Got that good armor, too. Mm -hmm. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Hey, guess what? Malt Newsy, baby. Got some news for you. Eating better is easy with Factors Delicious ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, okay? Dietitian approved and ready to go in just two minutes. We don't have the time, baby. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week. So you ain't never going to get malt tiredy, baby, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto, if that's what you're into. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals or just save some time in the kitchen. Two-minute meals. That's right. Fuel up fast with Factors restaurant-quality meals that are ready to heat up and eat wherever you are. Okay, y'all. Pancakes. Smoothies. They got midday bites and more. No prep, no mess, okay? And it's, it's flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. Sign up and save. Listen, we've done the math, okay? Factor is less expensive than takeout, all right? Then little Postmate delivery fees be adding up, baby. Okay? And every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash viral50 and use code viral50 to get 50% off. That's code viral50 at factormeals.com slash viral50. To get fifty percent off. Interesting. I love that. Would you rather? Thank you for calling in, honeys. Yeah, I'd take a ghost for sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Hey, honeys, Rockford here. Um, I just wanted to talk about this weird situation. I mean, it's not really that weird, but like a little bit. Um, I moved into this place with a couple guys. I'm twenty one, by the way. Um, they're a little bit older, so it's. It's been kind of nice. They're fairly clean, whatever. Um, one of them in particular I've become really good friends with. And there's just been a lot of, like, playful flirting and, like, sexual jokes made towards each other. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, <laughs> I guess I just don't know what to do about it. Or, I don't know, I'm not really, I don't really plan on doing anything unless he were to make a move. It's also, I don't want to ruin the friendship or the living situation. Um, it seems like we're both the type of people to kind of like, I don't know, things would only be weird if you made it weird. Um, but I guess I just want your your guys' op opinions. Um, anyways, hope y'all are having a great day. 
Oh, yeah? Thank you for calling in, honeys. Ooh. That was a good one. Yeah, this is... Um, so she lives with her roommate mm-hmm. and... Roommates. Roommates. And, and one of them's kind of flirting. Okay, so she wants to know if she should dabble in more. Yeah. Me, personally, listen, I, I see nothing wrong with it, but also uh, prepare for the worst. If it were me, I would be like, okay, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, you know, sleep with this guy or date this guy, whatever, like I need to, I'm going to prepare myself that the friendship could end. It could be weird with the roommates. I'd have to move out. Like I would be like this, that might happen. I'm going to prepare myself for that, but it also could not happen. Yeah. And it could be fine. Prepare yourself maybe to not catch feelings for him too because he might not catch feelings for you fully he right. might just want to get that nut nut that right skeet, skeet, and then he might want to date other people so if you're okay with seeing other girls yeah come over walking past your bedroom to go suck on his cack then uh yeah see that's the that's a thing yeah, yeah you have prepared. to be prepared yeah exactly or now, be prepared for a threesome yep or if you're just wanting to quit hey we're gonna bone and then go back to regular you know what i mean like Anything could happen in this situation. So many things could happen. So just be prepared. Be a Boy Scout. And uh... okay, I'm putting myself in her shoes. If I'm 21, I'd be single. I'd be fucking. I would have already fucked him. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I wouldn't have even had time to make a call. I would have already fucked him. <laughs> It's the truth, though. No, I it's know, the I truth. Know, I know. And then I would have just dealt with the consequences right. later. <laughs> Whatever they were. I'm a more go with the flow type gal. But I would have, too. I would have already fucked Would him. you let him uh, come inside you? Oh, yeah. What? Come would on. you let him come inside you? Yeah, yeah. Blow his oh, okay. wide. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Depends, mm-hmm. but you never know. Be safe, but, you know, you could also you just, just not sometimes. Just prep. Prepare for the worst. Just always. always prepare, just always prepare for the worst. <laughs> always. Always be like, well, this could happen. Because then you don't set yourself up for failure. Yeah. Always prepare for the worst. It's so true. I kind of do do that. I don't prepare for the worst, but I it's it's always in the back of my mind that, hey, this could be the outcome of this decision. Yeah. May need plan B. Yes. Plan yeah, think a little C. bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, Brett, would you, would you let him come in you? No, okay. I don't like cum inside me. Really? I never had it, but oh. I can see me not liking it. Really? Well, you got to try it before you judge. <laughs> yeah, try it before you judge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't talk shit and don't knock it until you try it, Brett. Yeah, even if you don't want the cum, we can just fill your ass up yeah. with some cream or something. See, it's not the cum for me. It's the pumping of the cock that I love. <laughs> the pulsating. Yeah. That's my I, favorite part on the cream pie bro, compilations. I don't know. It's not that I don't want the cum in there and have to push it out. That's nasty. It's the feeling, feeling the, yeah, it's so hot to me. I don't know why. The hot cream cum. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can feel it just shoot and you're like, yeah. where is that going? Yeah, up in me. Up in the u- uterus. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like it could come out my throat though. Yeah. It's shooting so hard. Yeah. That's gross and hot at the same time. Kind of makes me mad though, because then I know I'm. It's gonna take longer to come out. Ooh. And then, because mine <laughs> sleeps, you know, for weeks. Jesus Christ, mine plops right out instantly. Mm-hmm. So cool. Instantly. Mm-hmm. Instantly. I get a. I get some plop, but weeks. Do they say ker plop? Kaplop. What's that? Like kaplop. <laughs> <laughs> kaplop. That's what that is. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, love you, honeys. And what was the question again? Roommate. Oh, yeah. yeah. So just. I think you should go with your gut, but prepare that like the friendship may end, the the roommates <laughs> may end. She could get pregnant. You could get pregnant. Yeah, it could be the beginning to your life. Yeah, and it could be the beginning to your life, and you could get a good solid nut out of it. Yeah, and. Just do, just do just, what Nike would do, and just go with the the flow. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, so love you, love honeys. you, honeys. Hey, honey, Justin here. I am just watching the podcast, and I don't necessarily hear you guys talk about money so much for what you do. 
I know you guys love what you're doing, but money has to be a motivation at some point. So how much does that factor into what you guys do is my question, I think. And is it a motivation? And are you guys transparent enough to talk about, like, how much money you guys are earning from doing what you're doing, I guess? But love you guys and love the podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. Um, bitch better have my money. Bitch better have my money. Pay me um, I don't think I would set t- tell everybody how much I make, but I feel like that's a common, like you don't just go around telling, asking people how much they make and telling people how much you make. And for us, too, a lot of people will say how much they make yeah. or whatever, but... It's hard because we get money from different sources, you know? Mm-hmm. It's not just one one paycheck. payment. Yeah, or from and it, it's also different each month. Right. And platforms are always changing and payouts are always changing and spawn you know, everything is always changing. I love what I do. I did this for almost six years without making a penny. So I will say that that it's not, you know, I was doing YouTubes and Vine and I didn't make a penny for the first five or six years. And if I never made a penny, I'd probably still be doing it just because I loved it. Um, I just got lucky that I was able to quit my job and that it's my full-time job now. Yes. With that being said, um, it it is a job now because I have, I have people to pay. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, you know what I mean? It like, does become a little more serious. Yeah. And it becomes a lot more work than when you just start mm-hmm. and make videos and also have another job. Because, mm-hmm. but now when it's like, whoa, what pays the bills? It's right. You know, because back other- then, <clears throat> back then I was just doing it for fun. Mm-hmm. And now I'm still doing it for fun, but there is a business, <clears throat> sorry, there is a business element to it because, like I said, People got to be paid, and I got to pay my bills. Uh-huh. So it's it's still fun, but it's still like a lot more on your plate type of fun. Yeah, like a buff, a large buffet type exactly. of fun, <laughs> golden corral. Exactly. Because yeah, it. I mean, we're so freaking blessed mm-hmm. to just do this, and money being like my motivation, I wouldn't say necessarily is my key, but it makes things easier. You can, yeah. and. I would say my goal is to just have my family never have to stress, you know, like, because we've dealt with a lot of cancer and this and mm-hmm. that. And so it's just like to put everybody at ease and not have to stress about bills or this or that. That's like my goal is to take care of people. and Oh, God, just I think that's live. everyone's dream. Yeah. Well, yeah. And just to live. But I wouldn't say like I... I'm obsessed over money because I would try a lot. Yeah. Har- I would try a lot harder. But You're so- like. But sometimes social media is so fucking fake to me that it's hard for me to truly express myself. Sometimes. Yeah. You are the you are. How do I say this? How do I say it the way I'm thinking? You are the least person motivated by money that I know. Yeah. I but I do want things like. Yeah. You know, I want a fun life. And yeah. Yeah. But fun to me is just hanging out with like you guys or licking my butthole, licking your butthole, chilling. Or, yeah. but I also want to go ride four wheelers and have a and have cre- field of creams and do yes. like yes and do so that kind of motivates me. You yeah, know, for future fun, I want jet skis and shit. But for sure, it's not. I'm not going to sacrifice or like not. I'm not going to be untrue to myself because of money. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Not gonna be like oh da, da, da. yeah, it it is it's fun, but it's all it's also work at the same time. It's also a business at the same time. Like for instance, sometimes it costs a lot of money to do. You know, like like that's why I have a Patreon. Every time I film Tammy Bang, the last season of Tammy Bangs cost me a little over forty thousand dollars to make, but everybody got paid. Everybody that was that was in it got paid. You know, like, like you're, you know, so yeah, it's, it's weird. I, you know, it's, it costs us a lot of money to tour. You know what I mean? Oh, dude. Even going through a drive-thru, like 
that's hundreds of mm -hmm. dollars. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. so that. I, ha I have oh to my. make I have to make money to be able to do that stuff. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? So that's uh, where the yeah. business side comes in. Yeah. Um, and it's nonstop now too. So you don't just come home from work and then you're done. Yeah, you're day. done. Even though some people still work after hours, sure, yeah. but. It's just a nonstop. You're constantly thinking. Things are always changing. So many trends. Everyone's doing this now. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know. It's yeah. so many people are doing social media now. And it's just changing in a way. Yeah. I don't know. I hope that answered your question, honeys. I hope I didn't, we didn't leave you with more questions. Yeah. Um, I left myself like, with some. And like, for instance, this podcast, Paige and I do not make... A lot of money on this podcast. We do this because we fucking love it. Mm -hmm. We love this podcast. Out of everything I do, this podcast is the least lucrative. But it's my it's one of, it's my favorite, and people love it, and so therefore I'm going to do it. So would that be a you know would does money motivate that? Absolutely not. They you know what I mean? Yeah. It's so like it's, you guys motivate that. Yeah. For us. And I love doing this pod. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I would say we all love the pod and the, doing it. And that's what we talk about most mm -hmm. of the time we're together is like the rock fuckers and super. Yeah, you know? that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, you know, I mean, sure, I have to make money elsewhere, but I loved like, you know, I love doing this. And thank God that I make money doing shows. So I'm able to, you know what I mean? Like it all evens out. Like, yeah, what we're doing, we just love and it's fun and we're thankful we get to do it. And, and yeah, you just have to make money and all just do what you love doing like we love the pod we love others do like you love stand up so just do what you love or try to do what you love and hopefully you can start making money from it yep all might, right might have to show your butthole or do whatever but might have to have your friend lick your butthole on <laughs> patreon but <laughs> yep love you guys love you honeys love you hey honeys indian teeth face paint here um, so a little bit of story time for you. I did, um, so once me and my ex-girlfriend about a year ago, um, had, had, we're having our extracurricular time, if you will. And, um, so I go down on her, as I did most times, you know, I'm, I'm a giver and I took her on the one hand how many times she didn't come, um, because that's, that was my thing. If I even if I went first, I'm going back down for seconds. You know, that's mm. just gotta take care of mine. And um, so I'm, you know, giving her great faith. And uh, we finish, and I go to the bathroom to, you know, wipe everything off, wash my hands, wash my face. I look up, and I've got like on my nose and like kind of on my chin, you know, what looks to be some dry blood or blood or whatever and I'm like honestly whatever and I wipe it off and I go back to bed and the next day at, at the time we weren't dating so we were like still in the texting phase and I you know go back to my house the next day and I'm talking to her and I'm like hey see so you went on something crazy that like last night like I think like maybe us having sex maybe had you caused you to start your period a little earlier and like, I was, when I was eating out, I ended up looking and I saw that I had a blood on my face and I just, like, wiped it off and came and laid down next to you and went to bed. And she thought it was, like, one, slightly repulsive, but then, like, kind of freaky. And then also was, like, well, damn, like, kind of embarrassed. And I was, like, bro, there's no need. Like, if I thought it was gross, I would have stopped. But clearly it didn't bother me any. So, anywho, just wanted to share that with you. Um, you guys are awesome. You guys are killing it. Um, and Brett... I'm starting to petition to get you some more lean forward time, if not a whole podcast of you leaning forward. So, love you guys. Have a good one. <laughs> love you, honeys. You got your red wings, brother. Oh, he's hungry. 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 I'd he's be in. I'd be in. I, I'd be almost mad that a guy told me though. It, I'd be like, why are you telling me? It's the fact he said, you want to hear something crazy? <laughs> I know. And then it's going to be like, do you want some, I had your crust on my. Yeah. I had your period crust on my face. Like Period well, crust? He didn't say crust. No, she just did. No, I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, but what a cool dude to be like, eh, you know. I, I would be like, sorry about that. 
Yeah. <laughs> I I can't control it. I'd be like, oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. Um, malt leaky. Malt, <laughs> hey, that was a malt leaky. Malt bleedy. That was a malt bleedy, baby. The fact that he just says, I just wiped it off and went and, li- like, why, if you didn't care, why'd you tell her? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. how could he not taste that? The iron? The pennies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not a strong bloodline. Yeah, I don't know. That's true. That's true. Maybe he was just into it and just wasn't, yeah. but you know, wasn't paying attention, which is great. What did he say he was doing? He comes back for seconds. So if, if then, he comes um, and she doesn't, he will go back down for seconds. He, what a great guy! I know. But uh, what does he do when he's down there? He's eating grapes or something. I don't know. I couldn't understand what he something like that. He said his great face or something. Great yeah, face. Or great face. I don't know. I, don't I don't know. know. Never heard of that one. Um, mm-hmm. You guys, I think we should eat. take this guy's advice, eat each other's pussies. No, I think we should take this guy's advice and end the pod with Brett doing another lean forward. Mm. On the spot, baby. On the spot. Yep. He has nothing planned. Okay. I think we should do it. Yeah. Brett, yeah. Brett, hit it <clears throat> in three. Are we going to do the music? Yep. Yeah, okay. yep you Maggie's are. trying to find it. That's I'm what. trying to find it. Okay, I got it. Hit it. So we've been kind of talking about semen a lot, and um, there's lots of benefits. I know we've talked about them probably, but I don't think a lot of people know that MMA women fighters, they actually get cummed in. (laughs) They like to get cum inside them before they fight because it boosts their uh, testosterone levels. Uh, Semen, yeah, it's a good thing. You should uh, take it as much as possible. You should rub it on you. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a uh, multivitamin, semen. It's got um, a little bit of sugar, I think, too, for you. Um Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. Jesus Christ. I Russ like, couldn't get here fast enough. Uh, I feel like guys always give out advice of what they want to happen. <laughs> I don't mean to gaslight, you know. I heard, I heard because sucking not, a lot of cock is really <laughs> yeah. good for you. Yeah, Cures drink, cancer. Rubbing cum all over your face is super yeah. beneficial. <laughs> I've not once heard a lady say, oh, yeah, if you eat my pussy, your skin's going to glow and you're going to feel better tomorrow. Just right. science. Men think that their cum is liquid gold and we should be bathing ourselves in it. And who? But there's no facts, are there? <laughs> yeah. Brett, apparently, Brett knows the facts. You guys hmm. never heard that about the MMA fighters? Chicks? Just from you. Huh. Hmm. I wonder if the guys do it, too. Yeah. But I can know. see it doing something, you know. They say what goes in, you know, is like if you eat food, they say it's like better I mean, for you rather than just taking vitamins. Like, he, it, I don't Here's know. the thing. I don't doubt it, but I love how men really amp it up. They they will sell <laughs> That's you. That's what I'm saying. They will sell their they will, cum. They will take one little study, one little thing, yeah. and tell you about cum is good for you. Yeah, it's like you don't even have to tell us. Either way, we'll... Fuck yeah. yeah or, we're taking it. We're know? taking it regardless, yeah. but the extra sell is weird. Right. Hmm. Well, Good you job, guys, that, that's it for today's installment. Yeah, if you know anything about cum or... If you're a cum expert. Yeah, or if you're a complainer. <laughs> or, or if you're a complainer. <laughs> you have a complaint? Yeah. Call then, in. Then call in with your complaints and... Do you remember our phone number, Chelsea? Of course. Aww, yeah. I'm sad the pod's in then. I remember our phone number. I have well, it embedded in my head. Yeah, it's... you do. Well, we'll be back next <laughs> Tuesday. 442-777-3331. And always remember that you are doing right. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what, what everybody, everybody else thinks. thinks. Get ready. We're going live. Get ready. We're going viral. Oh I have to pee so much today. I've got a pee too. <laughs>
Yeah, Mama. Tilly is so beautiful.